So X plus Y, um, directed by Morgan Matthews, starring Oz Butterfield. So the sto- it's, it's a bittersweet kind of sentimental tale of interlocking awkwardnesses that centres on uh, Oz Butterfield's sort of teenage genius. He's a maths genius, but he has uh, social interaction uh, issues. And um, he's, you know, uh, and what happens is that he, dis- he, he discovers that he's very, very good at maths. And his mother, who is wrestling with the loss of her husband, he's obviously sort of dealing with the loss of his father, uh, is told that what he ought to do is to, you know, expand his uh, maths awareness. And as a result of it, Rafe Spall, who is a character who is dealing with his own physical problems, is a maths teacher who was, had got an anarchic streak, who was sort of slightly, his career, it seems to be on the decline, takes him on, mentors him, discovers that he really is incredibly good at maths, and that what he needs to do is to apply to become part of the, uh, the, uh, the team to go to the maths Olympiad, which will require, you know, basically doing maths at an Olympic competition level. At first, he doesn't want to have anything to do with it, but then he warms to the idea. Dear Mr Ellis, I am writing to let you know that, unfortunately, you have successfully earned a place on the United Kingdom math squad. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God, done it. That's good news, oh isn't it? Oh, gosh. Well done, mate. Oh, well done. <laughs> Why is that unfortunate? No, I was having a joke, mate. It says the training camp's in Taiwan this year. So, have you ever been on a plane before? No, it's or, not. Well, that's exciting, no. isn't it? Um, but uh, I should study. Are you leaving now? Nathan. <laughs> it doesn't mean that. Probably, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to go and study. Okay. Well done, mate. He is pleased. I know he is, yeah. He's well, I'm going to have something stronger than a cup of tea, actually, I think. I'm going to have a glass of wine. OK. Would you like...? I should probably shoot off. OK, no, that's fine. So, um, Morgan Matthews, who'd made the documentary Beautiful Young Minds, has spent a lot of time um, you know, looking into neurodevelopmental disorders, so, uh, autism, Asperger's. He, well, there's a scene early on in which um, uh, Nathan's character is defined as uh, asf- asphasic, aphasic, light-sensitive. Mm-hmm. And um, they're, very, they're very keen to... Uh, to be absolutely clear that each individual person is, you know, the, the, has their own, has their own manifestations of what is sort of broadly spectrumed as as autism, and they're very, very, very careful not to just sort of, you know, simply be casual and, and offhand about that, which I think is very good. And uh, so basically, our character, what he has is he has, this, you know, on the one hand, light sensitivity. He's very, he finds uh, social circumstances difficult. He likes order, which is one of the reasons why his math works. So well, and uh, I think it's played very convincingly and sympathetically and understanding. It played in a way that suggests a genuine understanding of the character and also understanding the particular ability that he has. Although the film itself is somewhat schematic in terms of its narrative, I mean, you could sit down I and mean, it's sort of to take that, you know, the math analogy, you know, you could sit down at the beginning and from the angles of the setup, you can kind of figure out the, you know, the. the <laughs> the vertices of where the plot is going to go. The thing that makes it fly is that the performances are lovely. I mean, really, really lovely. Oz Butterfield, who we'd seen before in um, Hugo, which you liked, right? Yeah, it was terrific. And also in Ender's Game, which nobody... I mean, nobody seemed to like Ender's Game, but I thought he was terrific in it. I thought it was an underrated film. He's great. Rafe Spall is fabulous as a Mr Matthews, the maths teacher. I mean, he is just brilliant, grumpy, gruff, irritable, and yet underneath all of that... Um, you know, you can tell, you you really get the sense that he's somebody who's sympathetic and yet on the outside kind of prickly, there's a wounded bear thing. Sally Hawkins, meanwhile, does a terrific performance of hiding her anxiety, hiding her, her grief and her worry about her son's isolation behind these kind of painted on smiles and, uh, you know, sort of beamingly happy eyes. I, so... It's a film which I think is made from a, with, a, with a great deal of understanding and a, and, a, and a very, very sympathetic and insightful look at all of its characters. And although the plot, as I said, is somewhat schematic... Oh, terrific performance, incidentally, as well, by Eddie Marsden. Eddie Marsden... Our le- friend Eddie. ...as leader of Team UK, who is just brilliant. Almost looks like he's just walked out of a Mike Lee film with the, the, the shorts and the... Probably you know, has. Probably has. Probably, probably has. So... 
Yeah, the performances are really, really wonderful and plaudits to everyone for getting those performances out of uh, the cast because, you know, people say, it, it's very easy to say a film is like this, but the acting is brilliant. You know, and pe- actors act well when they're in a good environment. You're watching the ensemble cast play together, you can tell that everyone is completely immersed in their roles. And it's, it's often touching, it's often laugh out loud, funny, poignant and moving and sensitive.